tady ho máme. It's the librarian's assistant. Brother Godfrey. What? Have you solved the mystery already? No, no, vodě jsme blíž než předtím. Tak co, máme se do něj obout? Možná to není špatný nápad. Třeba kápne božskou a něco nám řekne. Yes, indeed. I believe I have a suspect. Yes! Who's there? It's still too early to predict the course events will take. And besides, I'm not here to talk about them anyway. What do you want then? Where can I get red ink? Red ink? Oh, in the scriptorium, a second floor. Thank you. It seems I will have to pull out all the stops in order to get into the scriptorium. May I ask you a few questions? All right, all right. Uh, uh, but be brief. According to what I've heard, you were one of the brothers who held the censor when Anselmo died. Regretfully, yes. I had the misfortune to be there. A horrible sight. His body crushed by the gift from the abbot of San Nicodemo. His blood everywhere. His... Spare yourself the details, brother. Just because I didn't see the body doesn't mean that I don't know what the fall of a large censor can do to a person. There, there. The abbot was there with Anselmo, wasn't he? Oh, yes. Could you hear what they were talking about? I'm not sure, but if I remember correctly, I think that Anselmo told the abbot about the lights in the library. Lights? What are you talking about? Oh, they're there! You've just arrived, so you're not up to date on the rumors that have been circulating recently about the library here. Hmm. So that's what this is about. The abbot mentioned something to that effect, but he didn't want to go into detail. I tell you, but I don't think the boy should hear anything about it. And why not? Well, what I'm going to say might give him nightmares. Ale no tak, mě by to zajímalo a myslím, že jeho taky. He's old enough to cope with an allegedly disturbing story. You know, it was only recently that from here you could see lights coming out of the library at night. Oh, and not only that, odd sounds were heard too. Who saw them? All you have to do is ask. Oh, yes, many claim to have seen the lights. Anselmo was one of them. Oh, you know who. Uh, he was the gatekeeper. Uh, that's why he was the last to go to bed. Do you have some kind of theory about this? Oh, now the eerie part comes. I wanted to avoid having the child hear it. Many years ago, the librarian was found dead outside the edificium. Everything pointed to suicide, and as you yourself know, the Lord takes none to him who have forfeited the divine gift of life. Which is why the librarian wasn't buried in the cemetery. What does that have to do with the strange lights? Don't you understand? It could be that it was the librarian's heartfelt wish to rest among his brothers in the cemetery. Therefore, his spirit shall wander eternally because he feels he has the right to rest near his brothers. One moment. Are you telling me that a phantom is haunting the library? Of course. What else could all that howling be that no one seems able to explain? The howling of a soul that finds no peace. Yes. In that case, what do the lights mean? That's the spirit's glowing aura. Seriously, brother, do you truly believe what you're saying? I don't know what I'm supposed to say to that, but I do believe there's some truth behind it. Lots of us do. Hmm. No, teda. Takže po knihovně se prochází duch, svítí na všechny strany, strašně řve. No teda, to, oh, tady se dějí věci. Do you believe that the sensor crashing down was an accident? I don't know. Nicholas, uh, Igilio and I were the only ones holding the sensor. Oh! What's happened? The thought just occurred to me that perhaps it was all our, uh, our, uh, our fault. In what way? Oh, maybe Anselmo would still be alive if we had used a stronger rope. Oh, my God! I have no more questions. That's all I wanted to know. 
for the moment. Go on. You're doing excellent work. Uh, thank you. No, myslím si, že tohle do toho vneslo trošku světla. Tak oni stáli pod tou kadidelnicí, opad a ten mrtvý Anselmo a bavili se spolu. Hm. Pojďme se podívat nahoru. Musíme se za každou cenu dostat nějak do té knihovny. Brother Marcelo is the illustrious librarian and eminent guardian of the rules. No, právě. Jak ho jenom odstranit z cesty? Brother. Yes. Can't you make an exception for me? That would be unpermissible. It would be against the rules. I'm sorry, brother, but I believe I put it clearly. Ah, a copyist. Remember how you had me write down? I must use my brain to think once. I had to write it down a hundred times. <laughs> Tell me, Brother Marcelo, what requirements must my novice fulfill to be accepted as an apprentice copyist? Your novice? Are you talking about this novice? Yes, he belongs to your order. Indeed, that's the very reason his father, the Count of Capra Negra, entrusted him to me. His dream is to become a magnificent copyist at the Abbey. Isn't that right, Bruno? Isn't that right, Bruno? Huh. Yes. Well, <laughs> there's no rule that prohibits an apprentice from being allowed to enter the second floor, is there? True. There isn't. Fabulous, brother. He's going to become an accomplished copyist. Tell me, please, what does my novice need in order to be accepted as an apprentice copyist? Well then, he has to copy a page from a book. The first page of Hortus Tuus. Naturally, the copy must be a translation into Latin, because the original was written in Greek. Hortus Tuus. No, dobře, ale kde tu knihu seženem? Hortus Tuus, you say? It's a work about botany. A tract on medicinal plants. That's a good title. Where can I get that book? Speak with Godfrey, my assistant. He'll get it for you. Master, am I really going to become a copyist? It would be better for you if you did. Because if you don't make the grade, we'll never be let into the scriptorium. I'm going to become the, the, the best copyist in our order. I'll, I'll be greater than Betus de Labana. People are going to cry when they look at my miniatures. Oh yes, cry they will, Bruno. I don't doubt that. W what do you mean by that? Forget it. <laughs> Myslím, že tuším. Um, dobrá. Tak když už jsme trošku prolomili ledy tady s tím knihovníkem, tak bychom se ho mohli zeptat i na další záležitosti. My acolyte was trained as a copyist. All right. Do you have the Hortus to us with you? Don't have it yet. You should manage it. Is he going to be able to translate it into Latin? Good. He'll do what he can. I don't want any mistakes. A copyist is not only supposed to imitate, but also interpret, understand, translate. All right. And what about the quill? Quill? You're not going to give him one. How's that? No, no. Each copyist must have one of his own. I don't doubt that, but I can see quite a few quills here. Can't he use any of them? No. The rule says that each copyist must have his own quill. But as far as I know, the cook is given pots and pans, too. Brother, would you have me show you the rules that have been written down so that you can convince yourself? Hmm? No, no. I regret having been so insistent. Takže ještě pero. Kruci, nějak se to komplikuje. To asi nebude jen tak. May I ask you a few questions about Anselmo? I know what the abbot has given you to do. You can ask what you like about Anselmo. What do you think about Anselmo? Hmm. Do you have to think about that, brother? 
Yes, I wanted to describe Anselmo in a single sentence, but I think it's impossible for me to do it. I don't understand you. Look, brother, I don't know if you know this. Perhaps you've already spoken about Anselmo with someone else from the Abbey. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'd swear on a stack of Bibles that all of them are going to tell you about his inacceptable arrogance. Jo, o tom jsme slyšeli, jak byl strašně namyšlený a že ho tady nikdo neměl rád. Což znamená, že klidně mohli ho zabít, protože ho nesnášeli. What is that supposed to mean? Inacceptable. All right. Perhaps I went too far when I described his attitude as inacceptable, but a bit of modesty would have gotten him more respect from the other brothers. How did the attitude you're referring to manifest itself? Oh, that! He boasted about how well-read he was. Oh, yes, he always corrected other brothers when they pronounced something wrong, or he reproached them sharply when they didn't know something like a psalm or a historical detail. Well, do you know what I mean? Very well. I don't believe that his intentions were completely wrong. Not everyone here has the same level of education. You'll grasp that when you speak with Egidio, for example. As I said, the reprehensible thing wasn't his intention. It was the way he behaved. On the other hand, he visited the library often. He constantly tried to increase his knowledge. That's to his credit. Hmm. It would be nice if the common folk had the same thirst for knowledge. If he were perhaps granted access to the library... What? Are you joking? Nejde mi do hlavy jedna věc. Jestliže byl tak strašně chytrý, tak jak to, že tady pracoval jako obyčejný vrátný? What kind of material did Anselmo usually look for in the library? Anything he could make use of. Oh, his thirst for knowledge knows no bounds. Despite his work as a gatekeeper, he constantly came to the library to study manuscripts. Without a doubt, he was trying to undermine the hierarchy at the Abbey. Did he ask for particular titles? No, I don't remember any particular one, though once. Yes? Hmm. I can't recall exactly what subject it dealt with, but it still strikes me that I had to refuse his request. Why? How should I put it? Some books are not allowed to be lent out. That's why access to the library archives is limited to Gottfried and me. How did Anselmo react to the refusal? I don't remember any more. I suppose he attached the same importance to the subject that I did. Namely, none at all. I presume he simply asked out of curiosity. So The abbot implied that Anselmo's death could have been something other than a coincidence. He said that to me. Indeed he did. And what's your opinion about that? I don't know what I should say. I don't believe that one of our brothers would deliberately be out to kill a fellow brother. That makes sense. It would be against the rules. Yes, against all the rules. That's the point. I presume that the abbot has also mentioned something to you that you shouldn't take lightly. Are you referring to the idea that the devil feels at home in the Abbey? This is a serious topic, brother. We all know that evil has been wreaking havoc all over this unfortunate world since time began. But of all places, why here at this humble Abbey? Evil does not distinguish between one place and the next. Oh, that's certainly true. But if so many wars, attacks, lootings, and rapes are taking place outside, isn't it logical that he would prefer to reign like that, and not within these walls? A good theory. Ah, uh, to be honest, yet without wanting to contradict the abbot, I must tell you that I do not share his opinion. If that's the case, what do you think about Anselmo's death? I don't know what I should think. But it's not my task to root around in such matters. I serve our Lord by looking after the library. We should let Anselmo rest in peace, brother.
would you be able to give me some information about the library? As you like. To which works does the library owe its fame? The library's fame basically stems not only from the work our copies do, but also from our zeal towards collecting, archiving, and publishing a large number of books. As far as I know, you won't be able to set your eyes on a collection like this at any other abbey. Are there really that many? Thousands of them! I'm impressed. Tell me something about your work. The post carries a lot of responsibility. As you can imagine, in an abbey like this, it's one of the most important jobs. It requires a great deal of dedication and hard work to get to be a librarian. And once you get there, it means investing even more time and effort. You have to archive, catalog, restore, preserve. I get the point. Do you like it? Of course I do. Alongside the love of our Lord, the reading matters and studies are the two reasons I get up each day, ready to forge ahead. Ooh, I love being surrounded by books, the smell of ink, and of my brother copyists, who know how to value the significance of simply bound pages. I love this work. We put on a chair. Tell me something about the library archives. I assume you're not only talking about the books that can be accessed freely. Indeed I'm not. The abbot made a remark that some books are not accessible. Some books? Hundreds of them! And why is it not allowed to consult those books? Our library holds ancient and unique as well as particularly precious works of art that might be damaged by wrongful use. It is our duty to preserve these precious works and take good care of them. But isn't it a shame to keep them shut away like this? Wouldn't it be a noble gesture to make them accessible? That is forbidden by the rules. There seems doubtless every reason to be grateful for your endeavors in preserving art and objects of cultural value. I'm sure I could appreciate your efforts even more if I were granted permission to view some of those works with my own eyes. Do not let that be of any concern to you, Brother Leonardo. We have countless further, freely accessible works that will most assuredly satisfy you. But how am I to browse those works if you deny me access to the library upstairs? My assistant and I have access. Simply choose a tome from the Index and ask Godfrey to get it for you. Where can the Index be consulted? Well... Go to the lower floor and head down the stairs to the tall archway. Yes, yes, I get the point. I think I've gotten the information I wanted. Thank you kindly, brother. You're surely the best one to fill me in on the rumors circulating about the library. Rumors? Bah! You mean that gossip? Are the rumors true? Anselmo trumpeted that around everywhere. That is, before he died, naturally. Možná, že to by mohl být další motiv, aby ho umlčili. Do you really believe that a phantom is haunting the library? Brother, life at our abbey doesn't offer much variety. It's normal that brothers invent stories to break up the daily routine. What I don't consider normal is that they emulate the common folk with their absurd tall tales. Tales that barely reach the level of ignorant folklore. In other words, you don't believe them. If it's not a phantom, could we be dealing with a person? I don't know if you're aware of this, brother, but the library is locked up each night. It is simply impossible to remain here unnoticed and move around in the library freely as one could in the cloisters in the daytime. Someone could try to force the door? It would be noticed the next day, and I can assure you it has never happened. Through some window? Through a window? <laughs> like a lizard, perhaps? Tell me, brother, who? 80-year-old brother Arcadio? Uh, Godfried? Who can't even run? Uh, Ikidio? Uh, provided he's sober that day. Uh, sure! Listen closely. No one, absolutely no one, enters the library at night. I would know it. <laughs> and besides, oh, if it happened, the rules would come down on him like... like... Like a censor? Yes. Oh! Allah. 
No, to je zajímavý. Skoro se nám prořekl. Do you know anything about your predecessor? I mean, the librarian who died here. Do you mean the librarian who committed suicide, according to those hair-brained rumors? Wasn't that what happened? Of course not! What soul devoted to God would do something like that? And even more so, at the Abbey! According to the rumors? According to the Abbey's archives, if you will, our chronicles inspire more faith than foolish gossip does. My predecessor was a victim of an unfortunate accident. He burned to death. Burned to death? That is what is written in the archives. After having locked up the library, it seems he took such a bad fall that the oil lamp he was carrying broke. He realized that his habit had caught fire, tried to... Well, you can imagine the rest. Hmm. I don't know what to think about that. You're an educated, intelligent person. Leave the gossip aside and put your faith in what has been written. Do you think we could change the subject? It seems right to me. The subject is truly ridiculous. No, abych pravdu řekl, už nemám na co se ptát. Thank you for your time, brother. Byl to vyčerpávající rozhovor, ale velice přínosný. Dobrá, takže co teď? Máme hned uh, několik stop. Potřebujeme pírko. Můžeme zaskočit do, do kuchyně, oznámit uh, to koření v polívce. Ale taky bychom hlavně měli sehnat uh, tu knihu. Taky bychom se vlastně mohli podívat, jestli máme nějaký nový záznamy v deníku. Ano. Místní alembik nebyl soudě dle jeho stavu příliš často využíván, což o to rozdělání ohně nutného k jeho zprovoznění pro nás žádnou dnes nás nepředstavovalo. Ovšem oprava poškozené výlevky již situaci nemálo zkomplikovala. Konečně se mi dostalo příležitosti obeznámit se s věhlasnou knihovnou opaství muestra seniora de la Natividad. Na neštěstí mi však nebylo dopřáno se o její vynikající pověsti osobně přesvědčit. Podle vnitřních regulí opatství je v mnichům povolen vstup pouze do několika běžných místností. V nich se nachází pouze zlomek depozitáře knihovny a stoly pro opechovače. V archivu však, dle knihovního seznamu, byly uloženy tisíce nejrůznějších svazků. Na vrcholu zvonice jsem spatřil překrásné čapí hnízdo. Toto vznešené stvoření, pokud je mi známo, právě v tomto ročním období nahrazuje svoji pokryvku těla mnohem zářivějším opeřením. Během pečlivého proskoumání kadidelnice, jež smrt bratra způsobila, neunikly mému zraku skvrny od červeného barviva na provaze. Když se mi poté Gottfried zmínil, že musí odejít do skriptoria, Uvědomil jsem si, že se do onoho sálu musím dostat také. Rozhodl jsem se proto učinit cokoliv. Bratr Marcelo mi žel Bohu vstoupit do skriptoria nedovolil. Nepochyboval jsem však, že díky svému odhodlání celou záhadu objasnit naleznu způsob, jak dovnitř proniknout. A posléze tež do bedlivě střežené knihovny. Rozhodl jsem se tedy Brunovu touhu stát se opisovačem vyslyšet. Ani bratr Marcelo nic nenamítal, pokud mu ovšem přineseme překlad první stránky knihy Hortus Tuf, což je svazek o botanice a pero povinnou to výbavu každého opisovače. Bruno byl tou vidinou doslova posedlý. Projevil dokonce i nemalou míru nadšení. Zdá se, že ten hoch má přece jen ještě nějakou naději. Další záznamy zatím nemáme. Tak se do toho dáme. Začneme návštěvou kostela, protože jestliže ten Hortus Tuf je kniha o botanice, no tak já předpokládám, že by o tom mohl vědět něco ten Arkáno, ten, ten stařík Arkádio. Nicméně teďka mi došla jiná věc. Oh. Ne, 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 zpět. 
Knihovník, ten Marcelo nás nejprve poslal za Gottfriede, ať požádáme o tu knihu jeho. Jo, to řekl na začátku toho rozhovoru, já jsem na to pak úplně zapomněl, takže, no, takže zpět. Hold, zkrátka ty dialogy jsou opravdu dlouhé a je potřeba dobře poslouchat. Právě jsem se o tom přesvědčil taky. Dobrá, ale jsme se trošku prošli. Takže opět za Gottfriedem. Brother Gottfried? It's you! Oh, 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 what's going on? Brother Marcelo told me you have a book I just happened to be looking for. The Hortus Tours. Oh, I'm afraid I can't give it to you. For God's sake. This is becoming a habit. But, 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 but beg your pardon? Doesn't it occur to anyone at this pontified abbey that they might work with me a bit in this unfortunate matter? First I'm denied entry to the library due to the strict rules. Now I'm not even allowed to consult a simple book about plants. What am I supposed to do? Regard everyone as suspicious? I, 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 I don't have it. Ah, then who has it? Brother Arcadio, the gardener. I know that because he just asked me for it yesterday. No, tak přece. Docela je to logický, že jo? Stará se o tu svoji žvanici kytku a potřebuje knížku o botanice. Dobrá, tak za ním přece jenom dojdem. Takže možná, že tenhle ten rozhovor je úplně zbytečný, jo? Nevadí. Do you know where brother Arcadio is? I think you might find him in the cloister garden. Hmm, to už víme. Is the exam to become a copyist very difficult? Well, a, a bit, yes. I think one could say the exam is a pretty difficult. Uh, Brother Marcelo is very strict about the copies made here. Uh, sometimes he rejects copies because they don't do justice to the library's reputation. Did you hear that, Bruno? Do you still think you'll be greater than Beatus de Liebana? I... Go on. You're doing excellent work. Uh, thank you. Tak přeci jenom do kostela. Jako pero bychom mohli použít to, který se nachází tam nahoře ve zvonici. Ale budeme muset počkat, až někdo zazvoní na zvon. No, zatím to nebudeme řešit a uvidíme, jak se to samo vyvrbí. Once again, a good day to you, brother. Again? Do I know you? You call a plant Clotilde? Yes. Do you have any objection to that young man? None at all, brother. However, it does seem unusual to me that you're giving a plant a name. I see you don't know much about plants. They can listen and even talk. Watch this. Greet the guests, Clotilde. Good, good. She's a bit shy, you know. I can see that. Whatever. What do you want from an old man like me, brother? Je to ukecaná kytka. Godfrey thought you have a book, The Hortus Tours. Of course, I've got it. I'm the gardener. At this abbey, who else would be able to have a book about plants? A brother with a knowledge of herbs. <laughs> How bright of you. It just so happens that I need the book, and... You're so lonely, Clotilde. So many years here, wilted, locked up in these cloisters. Poor Clotilde. Ach, jo, dětku, jeden zatracenej. For heaven's sake, would you stop talking to the plant? Yes? What do I have to do for you to give me the book? It's vital to my investigation. Impossible. I need the book. 
It says there how I can help Clotilde. But brother, let's see what is more important. The investigation or Clotilde? Hmm, well... The investigation? No doubt about it. What does the book say about Clotilde's illness? That she is very lonely. She needs a companion. It's a good book, isn't it? A bitter wart at her side and my poor friend will go back to unfolding her colors in all her splendor. Jo, takže potřebujeme další tuhletu rostlinku. I'll let you work in peace. Thank you for your time. All right, it doesn't matter. Poor Clotilde. Ach jo, tohle bude ještě náročné. Získat tu knihu. No, možná bychom se na to mohli zeptat toho našeho kámoše. Ten by nám snad byl schopen pomoct. Má různé bylinky, tak možná bude mít i semínka. Eladio? It's great that you're here. How was the investigation going? Hopefully it will do better tomorrow than it did today. Is that right? Oh well. Uh, tomorrow you'll find all the answers, I'm sure of that. The way you always do. <laughs> you have to ask the right questions before you get the right answers. Then ask away while we chat a bit, my friend. Are you familiar with the so-called Hortus Tuus? That's what this is all about. You're going to be the Order's new copyist, right? Oh, yeah. Not me, Bruno. Ahem. <clears throat> He'd better put some effort into it. Marcelo is a hard taskmaster. It looks that way. Hortus Tuus was what you said, wasn't it? Yes, sure I'm familiar with it. Of course I am. That book is good for one thing and one thing only. For the exam to become a copyist. Is that so bad? Leonardo, a horror is what it is. Utter nonsense. I'm not surprised that the writer signed his name as Anonymous. Any herbologist in the world would have told that author a thing or two. You'll have to explain that to me. Belladonna, for example, has a relaxing effect. But this book says that the reason for that is because it's reminiscent of a woman's figure. You get it? Bella Donna. A rather blatant simplification. But that's not all. Uh, something basic. Oh, here it is. Chamomile. As you know, it has a laxative effect. Yes. In the book, it's listed among the poisons. God help us. I'm against burning books, but this piece of work? Oh, what's the point? Are you familiar with the book by Dioscorides? Yes. De Materia Medica, about plants and poisons. Precisely. It truly is an amazing book, isn't it? Do you know anything about the alleged phantom in the library? Yes. The majority of the Brotherhood is pretty upset about it. But you're not. The only things that upset me are the phantoms people see after chewing on certain plants. Although... Do you want to add something? Anselmo claimed to have seen him a few times. We're not talking about some ignoramus. Anselmo was a well-educated person. I don't understand why he said those things. Maybe he really did see him. Do you think so? I believe in the power of reason. Sometimes people see things that their minds want to see. Anselmo saw something in the library. Whether it was a ghost or not is of little significance at the moment. Do you have any bitter word plants here? Anyway, I have the seeds. Excellent. Let's see if it comes back to me again. There they are. Take them, Leonardo. Use as many as you like. But give me back the croc afterwards, all right? Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on it as if it were yours. <laughs> Tell me one thing. Are these seeds for Arcadio? 
Yes, they're for him. I'm saying it because I once wanted to give him a few bitterwort seeds. You know the story, my poor Clotilde saw all alone. But it was impossible for me to open the crock. Why didn't you just give him the whole crock full? If I can't open it, do you think Arcadia will manage to? Ooh. I must go, Eladio. What's the hurry? I must serve the interests of the abbot. Please understand that. Of course. I was only looking forward to talking some more with you. We still have time left for that, my dear friend. Don't you worry. No, I don't see anything special. That doesn't work. The cork plug covered by a barely visible wax layer seals the crock well, shielding the contents from humidity and the passing of time. It would be much simpler to break the plug, but I have to give the crock back to Eladio in one piece. Vrstva vosku. Možná, že kdybychom ten vosk nahřáli, tak by to pak nebyl problém. Rozpustí se, rozteče a zátka povolí. No, ale kde bychom mohli sehnat oheň? Napadá mě kuchyně. Nejvyšší čas, abychom tam vyrazli. Martin? What can I do for you, Brother Leonardo? Mmm. The soup you're cooking there smells, if you'll pardon me, heavenly. Really? <laughs> yes. I see that you're adding chicken bones and some spices. Not everyone takes so much trouble with such a simple dish as soup. Could be, but I do. And by the way, in this case, I must share the compliment with Brother Ladio. He supplies me with the spices. The appearance and aroma are incomparable. I see you appreciate good cooking. What shall I say? I have traveled quite a bit. It's a pleasure to talk with a connoisseur. That's kind, but connoisseur would be a mouthful. Oh, don't be so modest, brother. You recognized a decent soup by its fragrance. I presume that you're able to sniff out the spices that were used too. Tento krát už to koření poznáme. If it weren't a sin, I'd bet my nose that it's thyme and oregano. That's quite a nose you've got. <laughs> I wouldn't say so, but thanks all the same. You do, you do. Only the abbot who loves good cuisine, no other, mind you, was able to sniff out the ingredients of my recipe. Fair enough. Or not, I suppose. I'll put all my faith in you, Brother Leonardo. I'm very grateful. What time do you eat? You'll have to wait till after Vespers, just like all the others. Why do you ask? Are you hungry? Oh, <laughs> silly question. You've just arrived at the Abbey after a long journey. Of course you're hungry. In that case, I can make an exception. No need to bother. To be honest, I'm not hungry. It was just out of curiosity. I wouldn't say no to an apple or a piece of bread. You're a part of this monastery, Bruno. It's about time you got used to that. You're not going to receive special treatment. Nothing more than the rest of the community. Now, now, please don't be so strict with the boy, brother. To be honest, I do make exceptions when I see the need for them. The Lord has taught us that we should give food to the hungry and drink to the thirsty. That's right. He also taught us what gluttony is, didn't he, Bruno? As you like. I am at your service. If you feel that your energy is dwindling and a snack might be the solution, then come to me. Brother Anselmo, may his soul rest in peace, used to like to. Anselmo? Lately he stopped by often for something to eat. 
Well, apparently the post of gatekeeper is rather strenuous. Mm-hmm. Tady a vrátnej a mít hodně práce. Hmm. I must go. Perhaps we can continue our conversation later. I'd be delighted to get on with it, brother Leonardo. Tak, pojďme se pokusit otevřít tu zátku. Hmm. Máme už nádobku s vodou. Tu budeme určitě potřebovat. May I? But of course. Anyone who is able to identify the spices in my soup by their fragrance has my complete confidence. <laughs> Go right ahead, brother. The water's boiling. You don't need to put your hand in it to know that it's hot. Uh, no, yes, yes. I hope the hot water will melt the wax on the cork stopper so that I can open the crock. Perfect. Very clever. Your reputation as a wise man is justified. All you have to do is apply logic here. That's nothing special. I'm going to make a note of what you did. It might be useful to me on some occasion. Jo, máme to otevření. It cost a bit of effort, but the bitter word seeds have been freed. Tak, pojďme ven. A asi se můžeme vrátit do kostela. A nebo bych se ještě mohl podívat do vyního sklípku. Protože jak jsme uh, hovořili s tím knihovníkem Marcelem, tak on se zmiňoval, že Elagio, ten zakrslík, co nám otevíral bránu a co se staral o koně, bývá často nalitej. <laughs> Možná bychom se mohli podívat, jestli zrovna teďka není. Jména ještě pletu, ale už jako zhruba, zhruba vím, kdo je kdo. Um, tak jo, ten se teda pořádně spil. I thought the breaks from work would be spent in the cells. Brother Egidio. Jak se nemá k tomu probrat? Brother Egidio, wake up. Možná by to chtělo do něj kopnout. The abbot is coming. Unbelievable. He sleeps like a groundhog. Unbelievable. He sleeps like a groundhog. No, tak nic, ale počkat. Ha! Huh. Where? What? What time is it? I have to ring for Tessia prayers. co vyteklo, ale nevadí. Pírko bude naše. Tak a teď už můžeme zamířit opět do kostela. I've brought you company for Clotilde. Really? Let's have a look. Be 
Bitterwort seeds. How are you little ones getting along? Look, Clotilde, you don't need to be so sad anymore. Be good to them. Remember, you're the eldest here. You hear me? <clears throat> Have you seen that there's a solution for everything? <clears throat> Youngster, you keep an eye on that cough now. Talk to Eladio. He might have some kind of medicine for it. Brother Arcadio. The book? Book? We're in a garden, not the library. You promised to give me Hortus Tuus in exchange. I did? Yes. When? I don't recall. Although, at this age, who can remember anything anyway? Uh, whatever. Here's the book. But be careful with it, you promise? I know how you youngsters treat books. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll treat it with loving care. Fine. And now, get out. Out. No, konečně kniha naše. Že tohle trvalo. Tak, to bychom měli. Máme tu příšernou botanickou knihu. A zůstal nám prázdný hrnec. It could be that I'll find some other use for it before I return it to Eladio. It's written in Greek. No ano. Teďka máme problém číslo dva. Musíme ji nějak přeložit do latiny. It could have fallen out of the nest or lost a wing when the stork was startled by a gideo ringing for Tertia prayers. I'll take it with me. Mirko je naše. No, trošku se to upraví a věřím tomu, že bude možný s ním psát. It was a gift from a feathered friend. To bychom měli. Teď potřebujeme někoho, kdo nám to přeloží. Víme, že dobrý na jazyky je Umberto, ten brilatej v knihovně. Brother Umberto, please, brother, be brief. Have you any advice for my novice? Brother Marcello would be the best man for that. I presume that's the case, but I'm sure you'd be able to help my novice master the exam. You're the master, and he's the disciple. I'm confident that you, as a good instructor, will find a way that works out for the best. I hope I haven't taken up too much of your precious time. Why do you say that? Well, the questions seem to be making you uncomfortable. To be honest, I'd rather continue with my work. The abbot has entrusted me with the mission to try to clarify what happened to Anselmo. I understand and respect the abbot's decisions. That's how it should be. But I hope you understand my brusqueness too. I have to finish translating this volume, even though I'm about to collapse. Work comes first at the library. You don't know what Brother Marcello is capable of when someone doesn't fulfill their duties. About to collapse? Don't you feel well? No, I'm starving. But I presume that's nothing that couldn't be remedied by a bite to eat? Mmm. To be se dalo zařídit. I'll let you work in peace. Goodbye. Ovšem něco za něco. Oh, the Hortus Chewers. Yes. Who's the Order's future copyist, then? My acolyte. And I'd like to ask you to translate the first page from Greek into Latin. That's why you brought along the book. Yes. Would you do that for me? Uh, all right. You can leave the book there and pick up the translation in a week. 
In a week? Out of the question. I need the translation urgently. And my stomach is growling. But I have to stay here until I'm finished with my work. Do you have a lot to do? Yes. How much? Enough to stay busy for seven days. Couldn't you fit me in somewhere in between? No. Nope. Out of the question. And you, boy. Didn't you request a position as copyist? Why don't you do the translation? Because... I... Because he only wants to be a copyist. You're the translator here. Seven days, the shelf is back there. You can take it or leave it. Kruksy. Sedum dygo je trošku moc. Je, dobrá. Zkusíme to vyřešit přes ten kus žvance. To by snad mohlo fungovat. Takže běžíme opět do kuchyně. No, dlouho jsme tu nebyli. Polívku bychom tady měli. Jde ti jenom nějak um, nabrat. What are you doing? You can't do that, brother. I don't understand how. I thought I had your complete confidence. Yes. No. But what are you planning to do? If you want, I can give you a piece of bread if that helps. Calm your appetite. I was thinking more of a little soup. Impossible. The soup must be blessed by the abbot before it's eaten. And that won't take place before this evening. I'm serious. Wouldn't you like a little bread? No. Musíme požehnat polivce. No tak, nešlo by to nějak obejít. Bruno, come here. Bruno, I'd like to ask you to do something. Do what, Master? I need some of the soup that Martin is cooking. But that's stealing. Ale no tak, jenom si půjčíme. It's not stealing, it's a loan. That's a euphemism. I know, you just taught me that recently. Don't pretend to be so erudite when you're talking with me. But... Have I ever undertaken anything that would have harmed you? No, Master. You've taught me many things, and you've looked after me as if you were my own father. O although you have given me a few strokes of the switch. I am your master, and as long as I remain that, you must do what I tell you. You're right, and I'm grateful to you. Then trust me, Bruno. We're really not doing anything bad. Surely. And are you sure I won't go to hell for that? No. <laughs> Možná tam skočíme oba. Don't be afraid. All right. Come here. I'll explain to you what you have to do. Brother Martin. Yes? Um, um... Yes, brother? Uh, uh d d did you know that I'm going to be a copyist? Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, it is, isn't it? Wonderful! Yes, yes it is. Um... A a and I'm going to be greater than Beatus of Libana. Slow down, brother. That's setting the yardstick a bit high. <laughs> But perhaps you truly will be. Who knows? <laughs> the ways of the Lord are unfathomable. Well, I'm going to be a copyist. Yes, you already said that. I did? Greater than... You already said that, too. That, too? Oh, well. Do you know what, brother? What? We could join together. 
And thank the Lord that you have come here and are going to become part of our community. Would you do that? Gladly. I don't see why not. Very good. Repeat after me. Springs. S springs. Very good. Springs, praise the Lord. Seas and rivers, praise the Lord. No, tak zatím co se budou modlit, což teda potrvá asi dlouho. Tak si nabereme polívku. Bruno, stop pestering Martin. We have to go. Yes, master. Goodbye, boy. M master, I, I feel dirty all over. If you'd like, we can go back to the well. Tak pojďme. Ale to je dobrý. To se mi na této adventuře líbí, že tu jsou vlastně v podstatě jakoby dva hrdinové, kteří chodí spolu a ty jejich dialogy mezi nimi to nemá chybu. To je to je franda. It's filled with Martin's delicious soup. Kromě polívky, kterou samozřejmě poneseme Umbertovi, bych ještě rád pohovořil s tím, tím zakrslíkem, jak šel zvonit, jenomže kde by ho našel. Víme, že on tady dělá teďka spoustu práce za toho mrtvého Anselma. Je vrátný, stará se o koně, taky zvoní na věž, na zvon a taky nám říká, že se stará o hřbitov. Možná bychom se mohli jít podívat tam. Jo, tamhle ho máme. Brother Egidio, I see you're busy. I won't steal much of your time. I hope not. Once you've had a break, there's nothing better than hard work, is there? Yes, all right. What are you doing now? I'm piling earth on top of Brother Anselmo's grave. Yesterday the rain washed some of it away. And Anselmo deserves to have things comfy, doesn't he? He suffered enough. Anselmo definitely would have thanked you. I don't think so. It wasn't his style. Is the former librarian buried beneath this soil? You know, the one with all the rumors about him. No, that would be sacrilege. No one who commits suicide can be buried in consecrated soil. You should know that. I do, I do. I just wanted to be certain that the rumors are true. At least the ones about his death, they're true. They are, brother, they are. In that case, where was he buried? I don't know that. Should I? Yes, you should. Because you're not only the gatekeeper and stable groom, you're the grave digger too. That is, unless my eyes deceive you. Yes, well, but I don't know where that librarian has been buried. I don't even know where someone who commits suicide is supposed to be buried. And I hope I never find out. No, do comes your son and half is a scarlet. I asked myself if I might be able to see Anselmo's cell. Why? Because I would very much like to see his cell. And you're the guardian of the keys. Only you can open the door for me. I have a lot to do. We'll have to put it off till much later. Ale no tak. Snado dokážeme překrcat. When is later? I have no idea. I have to clean up the cemetery. All because of the rainstorm, I have to go back to the stables to take care of the animals. And I have other things to do I don't even know about yet. That's why I can't say when later is. If you really had nothing to do with Anselmo's death, then you could accommodate me a bit. I find your refusal to help me rather suspicious. I had nothing to do with Anselmo's death. If that's the case, then do your work. But I had nothing to do with Anselmo's death. Yes, I heard you the first time. Just do what a gatekeeper is supposed to do. Open the gate. All right. Follow me. You can go in if you like. No, Slava. I have a lot to do.
Tak, co pak tu máme? There is nothing at all on this bed that merits a more intensive examination. Anselmo's buried there. His soul is resting in a better place now. Not even a trace of some evidence. Why should I have to climb out through the window? Let's take a look at Brother Anselmo's last reading material. Solomon's Song of Songs. What is it about? Um, about nothing at all, Bruno. Nothing at all. The Song of Songs. Zajímavý. Ale vypad z toho klíček. This little key was inside the book. Tak přeci jenom jsme tady něco zajímavého objevili, ne, že ne? I don't see anything special. It was in the book that Anselmo read last. A very peculiar place to store a key. Zajímalo by mě, od čeho ten klíč je. No a můžeme teď už asi opravdu jedině vyrazit do knihovny. see that there's a dearth of energy in the translation hall. Perhaps a little soup could make work more bearable. That pot there is full of soup. It is indeed. Martin did his very best. Hand it over. Ah, uh, are you sure that Martin cooked it? Why do you ask? It has such a strange taste. Like plants. Like seeds. Well, whatever. Here, take it, and thanks very much. And now, if you'll excuse me. Tak počkat, počkat, počkat. Ty jsi to asi nepochopil. Here is the hottest to us. When can I pick up the translation of the first page? In seven days. Seven days? Is that your way of thanking me for all the trouble I went to? Thanking you? If memory serves you, I already thanked you. And I supplied you with food during working hours. Ah, oh, now I get it. That's the price I have to pay. Give your translation preference ahead of the other 40 I've got to do. Tell me if I'm wrong. No one said a word about prices. We're not at the market. Exactly. This is a library. One with a strict order of work to do. One which I respect. As do you. I had merely hoped to see the gesture I made rewarded with one from you. Is that right? What? Oh, all right. Give me that silly book. Let's see. There you are. The translation in the book. I hope we're quits now. As far as I'm concerned, yes. Then go. Now. I have a lot to do. No, konečně, teda dala to práci. The first page of Hortus Tuus, translated by Brother Umberto from Greek into Latin. Tak. No, a máme všechno, co potřebujeme, aby se tady ten kluk stál opisovačem. Tak, teď mu to jenom musí ještě vít. Uvidíme. Brother. Yeah.
My acolyte was trained as a copyist. All right. Do you have the Hortus to us with you? Yes. We've got it right here. I assume that your acolyte will know how to translate that properly into Latin? Yes. One could even say that Greek is my novice's second tongue. I hope so, to the benefit of the library's archives. Does he have his quill with him? Yes, a good quill, if I may say so. Correct. I see that the child has what's necessary to pass the exam. The time has come to test your skills. Come with me, boy. It takes is one glance to see that it's rather rudimentary, and I see that cleanliness is not one of your virtues, boy. Huh? You've also overlooked several details in the miniatures. Do you know what it means to be a copyist? <sighs> I'm sorry, but I cannot accept that. Inacceptable for a copyist? He's not an apprentice, I presume? I... What you're holding in your hands is obviously not on the same level of work as from someone who's worked here for years. I presume you'll make efforts to hone and polish his skills until the boy deserves to share in the fame of the copies made at this abbey. Hmm. All right, he's accepted. You can enter the scriptorium whenever you please, my boy. <clears throat> the two of you can enter the scriptorium is what you surely wanted to say. What's that? Didn't I make myself sufficiently clear? The scriptorium is solely for the copyists in our order. The rules... Yes, but Bruno is my acolyte. So you'll understand that he must go wherever I go, and vice versa. If he wishes to enter the scriptorium, then I'll escort him. But the rule... Just like you, I am bound to them. I see we have a conflict here. Not the slightest, brother. You have accepted my acolyte as a copyist, and, thanks to the rule that binds me to Bruno, I can enter the scriptorium with him. Hmm. I don't see that very clearly. The rules are there to relieve us of the burden of always having to make the right decision. Your very words. All right, all right already. You can come into the scriptorium. Slava. <laughs> Uf, teda. Dalo tu práci, ale jsme tu. A jsem za to zatracně rád. Určitě tu budou nějaký nový záznamy. Kopí kdí Hortu Stůf měl ve svém vlastnictví Arkádio, nejstarší mnich v opatství. Byl však s ní až příliš citově zpětý, stejně jako se svým hořcem žlutým. K té rostlině, již pojmenoval Klotilda, zcela zjevně choval zvláštní sympatie. Napadlo mě, že kdyby jí věnoval ještě více pozornosti, možná by se tolik nezajímal o své blažené pojednání o botanice. Rozhodl jsem se jí tedy obstarat v plačíci, Díky níž by, ač notně povadlá, opět rozkvetla v celé své kráse a bratr Arkádio tím pádem též. S politováním jsem ovšem zjistil, že v celičkém opatství žádný jiný hořec žlutý není. K opětovnému vykvetení rostliny tedy bylo zapotřebí malého zázraku. Získali jsme hortu stův. 
bratr Arkádio nám svoji knihu Dobroty vdě přenechal, zatímco měl ústa plná díku za to, že jsme jeho milované klotildě obstarali společnost. Nyní nás však čekal neméně složitý úkol. Museli jsme první stranu knihy přeložit, k čemuž nám ovšem chyběly potřebné znalosti. Na druhou stranu, v opatství přeplněném vzdělanými a osvícenými bratry, byla odborná pomoc snadno k nalezení. Bratra Umberta, místního překladatele, zajímalo mnohem více naplnění vlastního žaludku, než pomoc blížnímu svému, i když pravda patřící k jinému řádu. Po předání překladu první stránky svazku o botanice a pera pro opisovače Marcelovi jsme vystoupili do skriptoria. Naši pozornost upoutal především stůl se zamčenou zásuvkou, která se v mžiku stala středem našeho zájmu. Posune její otevření naše vyšetřování o kruček ku předu? Nebo naopak záhadu zdejšího opatství ještě více prohloubí? To uvidíme teď. I don't see anything special. That doesn't work. No nevím, mně se ten sloup zdá docela podivné, jako by na něm byly nějaký symboly. Nothing interesting. It can't just be pushed. This door must be opened some other way. Zkrátka tu mříž neotevřem. Tady jsou nějaký další opisovači, ale s nima hovořit nemůžeme. Ovšem s tímhle možná jo. Take him as an example for what it means to be a copyist, Bruno. Yes, master. I'm going to be a great copyist, like Bayer. Yes, Bruno, that's fine. You've said it before. Beatus de Liebana. No one's using it. Hmm. It looks just like the rope from the sensor. I'm not sure, Bruno. But keep in mind, we're in the scriptorium. What could we find here except for ink, books, paper and quills? Y yes, but... All that is insignificant now. The chain of events has led us here. That's why I feel it's important for us to examine this desk. I, I still think the stain is the same. Sometimes an X can mark a certain place. In this case, it's an ink mark. No, je evidentní, že ten stůl je zamčený. This lock secures the desk. I won't be able to open it without having the key in my possession first. Oh, pojďme si nejprve prosk, uh, promluvit s tím chlápkem, protože s Gottfriedem už nemůžem. Good day, brother. Yes, it's almost perfect. <coughs> yes, oh, I know you. Your brother Leonardo de Toledo. I'm delighted that you know me. And you are... I'm Thomas from Rotterdam. Thomas se zubama jak králik. May I introduce you to your new fellow brother? This is Bruno, my acolyte. So that's how it is. Marcelo asked for reinforcements, huh? Was the exam difficult? No, I'm, I, I mean it was... But I had help from... No, I, I mean it was... Um, not really. That's all right. The scriptorium is full of books just waiting to be copied. A little help is always welcome. Bruno would appreciate it greatly if you could give him a few bits of advice for his new job. Sure, I'd be glad to. How can I help you? He wants to become greater than the Beatus de Liebana. Greater? Be satisfied with reaching the level we've achieved, boy. To learn a bit more about the profession, if you've passed Brother Marcelo's exam, I suppose I won't be able to give you much advice. I can tell you one thing, boy. It's a lot more than simple drudgery. It's an art, you know? Once you've copied a number of books, you realize how splendid literature is, how the ink influences the knowledge itself, sometimes in a subtle way and sometimes directly. Being a copyist puts you on a higher level than that of the other brothers. It makes you a creative person, you follow me? Naturally, it requires a lot of time and a lot of work, but it's worth it. 
What does one get in return? To become acquainted with the thoughts of great authors, the lives of the saints and martyrs, and to know how the world was before the arrival of our Lord. It's fascinating to read about classic Rome, ancient Greece, and pre-Christian cultures, not to mention the pleasure of reading and copying great works at the same time. For instance, here we have the book of Apollonius. For me, the writings seemed to be simplistic and superficial, but there was also the sensation of moving through the pages he wrote, of seeing the traces other copyists had left behind. That's priceless. Do you follow me? I follow you. I see you enjoy your work. Oh, yes. Books are the source of knowledge. We can learn everything about life without ever taking our eyes off them. For example, did you know that in the Egyptian Empire they knew of an oil whose flame didn't go out when it was burnt? Is that so? Yes, St. Augustine wrote about it. Well, well. In my opinion, one must also head out into the world to know what has not been written. Really? I've heard that you've traveled a lot. What have your journeys taught you? Do you know how many ways there are for one soldier to kill another, or how leprosy consumes a person's flesh? One never knows when it might be useful to know how to recognize the signs of evil. I hope Bruno will be a good copyist. I hope so too. No, ja bych si tak úplně jistý nebyl, ale to každopádně není naše starost. What are you copying at the moment? It's a tract about little-known minerals. It also refers to topics that can be found in other works, a point that manifests itself as one of the virtues of literature. It tells us that reading a book doesn't end on the last page. Isn't that marvelous? It's as if books talked to each other and reached agreements as to how they administrate the information. Do you follow me? You take care of this, I'll take care of that. You refer to me, and I'll refer to you. Oh yes, I get the point. Which books do you use for reference? Well, several works. For example, Orcurita is cited in the paragraph I'm copying at the moment. It's supposed to be a stone with, well, let's say, unusual properties. Yet no mention is made here of its mythological origins. Any reader would think that the stone exists in reality, but it's really nothing more than a legend. Is that so? Now, if you want to find out something about the Orcurita, I'd have to refer to the tract on alchemy by Abul Azreth. And although the tract is very informative, it's based primarily on speculation, which means if we want to learn more about the stone, uh, then we could... Pardon me, brother. I don't doubt for an instant that your narrative is terribly interesting, but at the moment I don't have the time for obscure stones and tracts on alchemy. Or curita. Or curita. Can you tell me anything about Anselmo? Sure, I'd be glad to. You're investigating his death, aren't you? I am, indeed. I'm at your convenience. Did he have some sort of enemy at the Abbey? Enemy? What do you mean by that? Are you familiar with the word friend? Of course I am. It's the opposite of that. Not that I'd know of, no. Although, to be honest, he certainly tried hard enough. And anyway, we're all only human, you know? Who can say they're free of vices, know what I mean? Yes, I think I know what you mean. There are rumors of this and that about his accident. Oh yes, the idea that it happened because a rope was frayed probably isn't exciting enough, is it? Do you have a different theory? I don't know. I wasn't at the Abbey when the tragedy occurred. But the way I see it, the bell tolled Anselmo's last hour. It's that simple. Was he very old? Not at all. He was younger than you. But no one ever knows when death is going to come for us. Perhaps his clock ran a bit fast. <laughs> Brother, do you find it amusing that a brother of your community had to die a horrid death? No, no, you're right. I was a bit macabre. It's just that Anselmo, well, he was... Yes, I know. He wasn't very popular at this abbey. Do you think the devil could have had something to do with his death? The devil? Well, why should the devil occur to me? Something like the Prince of Darkness must be accorded respect, just like any other enemy. Jo, takže podobně jako ostatní, on Anselma neměl rád. <laughs> A je zdráha se přiznat, že byl v podstatě nadšený z toho, že mu spadla na hlavu ta kadidelnice. Jo, děsná sranda, zbavil se člověka, který ho tady nesnášel, podobně jako spousta ostatních. Hm? Až na to, že kvůli tomu může mít prakticky každý z mníchů motiv ho zabít. That would be all for the moment. I see there's a desk that looks like it's been abandoned. Which one? Oh, that desk. 
Do you know who sat there? I don't remember. There are so many of us copyists here and so much work for us to do. That there's hardly time to take your eyes off the books. Isn't that so? Yes, that's how it is. I thought you might know to whom that desk belonged. I already said I don't know. I don't maintain any close contact with the other brothers. I spend only as much time as necessary with them. I greet them, we chat a bit, we share the table. You follow me? But I don't keep watch over them and I don't intend to. Do you get my point? There's no reason to get upset, brother. It was only a question. And all I did was answer it. Is there anything else? As you can see, I'm rather busy. Ten typek na mě působí dost špatným dojmem. I když je pravda, že tady v tom opatství není jediný. I'll let you get on with your work. It was a pleasure to meet you. Fine. Where was I? Oh yes, here. No, pojďme se podívat na ten um, stůl. Pokud budeme předpokládat, že to byl stůl Anselma, tak my máme jeho klíč. No, rozhodně to stojí za vyzkoušení. Brat se podívám, jestli máme i nějaký nový zápis v deníku, ale ne, to asi ne. Na to je ještě asi brzo. Let's see where the ink mark has led us. What's inside there, master? Nothing except an ink pot and a parchment with a simple drawing. Brother Leonardo, but we're locking up. Gottfried, um, what brings you here? Oh, uh, what have you got there? Nothing. Tell me, Gottfried, Anselmo was the gatekeeper, wasn't he? Yes, of course he was. If that's the case, then why did he have the key to this desk in his possession? As far as I know, only copyists are allowed to be here. Oh, um, hasn't anyone told you? Told me what? Anselmo was a copyist before he became gatekeeper. Is that right? It's the first I've heard of it. Oh, how should I put it? The Abbey caught wind of his attitude toward the rest of his brothers and decided that, uh, which way can I put it? Um, he had earned a lesson in humility. I see. Is there perhaps anything else you've forgotten to tell me? No, 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 no. Uh, nothing I know of. Are you sure? Please excuse me, brother, but the bell has already rung for Vespers. All right. We'll talk about this again some other time. That Gottfried is a bit odd. Yes. There are too many mysteries to this matter. Let's go, Bruno. We must prepare for the evening meal. Today... I was invited to dine at the abbot's table. Panečku, tak oni má jenom nějakou hrůzkou polívku a my... <laughs> Prasátko, no vidá. And now, brother Leonardo, how is your investigation coming along? No, vyšetřování. <laughs> Moc daleko jsme se teda neposunuli. Tak budeme k němu asi upřímný. To be honest, it's not easy for me to cast any light on the matter. I see. You've been carrying out investigations the whole day and haven't found a thing. Anselmo should never have died, and nothing would please me more than closing this chapter. Do you get my point? That's precisely what I wanted to talk about with you. About Anselmo's death? No, about chapters and books. If you would allow me to enter the library, I could... This is Nicholas, our blacksmith. Perhaps he can tell you something interesting about the Frankincense Censor. I hadn't had the pleasure of making his acquaintance yet. I don't think he was in the Abbey today. He was on the road for several days. Oh, that's interesting. I can't believe my eyes! You're Leonardo del Toledo? 
the famous Leonardo del Toledo? No, jestli slavně je to nevím, ale tak může si to myslet. Standing before you. Oh yes, I mean, during the evening meal, I wasn't sure it was really you sitting next to the abbot. Many important people have passed through here, but of your caliber, not one. Oh, brother Leonardo del Toledo at our abbey. Well, how should I put it? I'm finally getting to meet you. Say, you're surely here because of what happened with Anselmo, right? Such a sad thing. Oh well, sad for some. Others couldn't stand him. Mind you, no one wished he would die, did they? After all, we're all brothers of Christ. Who was also murdered, as I just recall? Yes, but he died to save us. We don't know the reason for Anselmo's death yet. That's my opinion too. Somehow that doesn't come as a surprise. You're the blacksmith at the Abbey, aren't you? That's right. Nicholas is my name. If you need anything, just tell me. Fact is, I'd be very grateful if you did. My goodness, brother Leonardo del Toledo actually asking me for something. It would be an honor. I'll make a note of that. Really? Thanks very much. I'm the one who should be grateful. No, I am. All right. I'm sorry. I haven't asked for a thing yet. It's true. I'm deeply touched. The abbot told me you haven't been at the abbey for the last few days. Yes? May I ask the reason why? Of course you can. I need materials. You know the story. You can't find iron among rocks. <laughs> Get it? Iron among rocks? <laughs> oh. Yes, that's quite witty. I've questioned other smithies in the area about the broken frankincense sensor. But the accident could have happened because the rope didn't bear the weight, couldn't it? Yes, among other things. Well, tell me, brother, what is the right decision? I mean, would you have done the same? I mean, well, how should I put it? As an expert, I'd like to hear your opinion. Yes. Whenever a crime has been committed, examining the weapon involved is a good starting point for any further course of action, provided it was a crime. Oh. Oh my, it's gotten late. Oh right, yes, you must be exhausted. What do you think of continuing our discussions tomorrow? We could exchange impressions. I could report on the conversations with other blacksmiths. I've got so many questions to ask you. Tomorrow actually will be the day for questions, and you too shall have to answer some. Bruno, come on, wake up! Did you leave the cell last night? I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I think so. I, no, I had to go to the loo. I think. I get the point. Počkat, počkat. To vypadá, že u nás někdo byl, že nás někdo navštívil v noci. When you came back, you locked the door with a key, didn't you? Key? What key? How could you let that happen? Let what happen, Master? Huh. Vypadá to, že nám někdo něco ukrát. You're worse than divine castigation. Someone's stolen the parchment from us. Most likely Godfrey took it and now he has disappeared too. And it's all your fault. <laughs> 